Welcome everyone to another Upgrade or Trash IT video. This video I've got the Dell Latitude E5420 and what I'm going to do is I'm going to install a copy of Windows 7 onto it. Shock horror. So let's, um, let's get it started and then I can talk you through some of the stuff about Windows 7. So Press the on button, then the F12 for the boot menu, and then move it down to USB storage device because I've got a USB with Windows 7 on it. And here we go. Now, the reason why I'm installing Windows 7 on this is because this was the original operating system that it came um, with years and years and years ago. And I'm also just really interested to know how many of you out there want to know how to install Windows 7 on, a, on an old machine like this. Now, there are risks with Windows 7 because Windows 7 hasn't been touched or updated by Microsoft since not, uh, 2020. So that's over two years ago. So this isn't a safe operating system. And what I mean by that is that because Microsoft aren't updating the security um, and things like that with it, it is more it is more vulnerable for from attacks from hackers and if you're going to do this then you need to bear that in mind um, I got a USB stick with Windows on it on eBay um, for it cost me just over ten pounds so um, that's the place that I would recommend that you go go to okay let's do some um, Let's move through this menu. This is all about the language, the time and currency that you want to use. So I want to use English. I want to use United Kingdom. United Kingdom, fantastic. Okay, accepting Microsoft um, terms and conditions. Okay, let's. Just delete some of these partitions. Okay, and then let's go. Okay, so this is the part of the installation. You can see on your screen what's happening is it's moving files from the USB stick over onto the laptop. And you can see at the moment we're on 0%. I'll just run this for a few seconds. A typical Windows installation, Windows 10 installation, takes around 40 minutes. So it will be interesting to know how long this one will take. Okay, you can see that the um, that the files is about 7% at the moment. So I'm just going to pause this. Okay, so I've restarted the video. The files swap is around 96%, so we're coming close to the end of the first stage of installing Windows 7. Okay, I'm going to 
manually restart it and let the second part of the installation begin. Okay, so we're now into the second restart.
So here we go, I've got to set up a, an account on this laptop. Okay, just made a little bit of a mistake on on that password. So here we go. Um, we're round about, I would say, around 15 minutes of installation time in total. The video's just over 11 minutes in length at this time. So let's see. what this is like. So you can see that it's going to Internet Explorer 8. Um, and you can see that it hasn't picked up hasn't um, installed any, even the, some of the basic hardware isn't installed. There's no Wi-Fi, it's not picking up a, let's see if the Ethernet. Okay, so it has picked up the an Ethernet connection, so it is enabling me to um, to connect to the internet, which is good. It's taking a little bit too long, so let's just cancel that. Um, right, so let's see if we can go into do a quick update and see if that will help us get a few. So the Wi the Wi-Fi needs to be um, downloaded. The software to get the Wi-Fi working needs to be downloaded, and also the software for the resolution. Okay, so let me just try it again. Okay, so three times I've gone to try and update it to see if we can change the resolution or to see if we can get the Wi Fi. Um, and it's failed. So what I'm going to do now is I'm just quickly going to do a shutdown and a restart just to make sure that it has installed a basic copy of Windows 7 on here.
Okay, so we can see here that it's, um, so it still hasn't um, corrected the resolution, it still hasn't come up with a, a Wi-Fi, um, to get the Wi-Fi working. And let's see, if we just flash this, Okay, now I'm sure there is a way of downloading all of the all of the different pieces of software we, where we need to get the resolution working, where we need to get the Wi-Fi working, um, and things like that. But it would take time, and I will do it if people are interested and actually want to kind of run a Windows 7 desktop. But as I said, this was just. Um, I'm just kind of throwing this out there really about Windows 7. Are enough people interested in actually installing this old piece of software, this kind of vulnerable piece of software on their Dell E5420? So if you are, just leave a comment. Thank you.